Hello Rocket Engineer, welcome back. My name is Ariadi and you're watching tutorial series. Today I'm gonna tell you how I'm making Starlink satellite from SpaceX. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The first one, as usual, you need to grab all the parts you need from the side panel. So you do need to search the part and scroll, scroll, scroll. We gonna need the fuel tank, the ion engine, the probe, and the solar array. Because the storing satellite, it consists of several parts, but mostly in SAS heavies, we just need this part. This is the final result of the storing satellite and it has ion engine, a single solar array and of course the flat design so it can be stuck inside a falcon and fairing. So to the first one we need to modify the probe. Um, as usually I'm using 0 0.1001 and the next one is the fuel tank because we need to stack all the satellite maybe on at least 30 satellite so the satellite mass is a big concern just to make sure all the part we use is not more than just one metric ton as you can see here it's past maybe 0 0.5 tons and here I'm making the body of the satellite, it just consists of the fuel tank and I'm trying to cover the ion engine with the fuel tank. It had a flat design and the ion engine is the circle shape so it look weird. So I need to cover the ion engine a little bit. Using the fuel tank here, I'm just modifying the XY value without changing the width property of the part because it will change the mass and the fuel inside it. This is as the comparison. I'm using the ion engine because it has 0 0.5 meter H. So I'm designing the the Starling is pretty pretty flat, pretty pretty small, but it has many parts inside of it. And of course I forget to add the separator to separate the satellite and I had this default separator design it has weird square in the center of it so I just change it to the black color and the decoration is gone now I don't need to separate them with height force because it just need to separate so I'm using the small separator but just modify the x value of it next one is i'm modifying the solar panel and resembling all the part together maybe a little bit to left And this is the final version of the satellite but this is not yet final because it may stretch it to another part attach it to another part I'm decreasing the size into 0 0.25 meters it's pretty small and it's really really flat Comparison to 0 0.5 meter H, it has only 0 0.25 meter H. 
so we can we can stack more and more the satellite inside the fairing in 0 0.5 configuration we only get one satellite in 0 0.5 size but with 0 0.25 h configuration we got two satellite in 0 0.5 h but the problem here is they may snap to another part make it not separated but i'm trying hard to make it not snap to another part and now trying to start and set the staging now i'm trying to launch it and make sure they are separated during deployment and it's not working maybe we can make the, the part is a little bit smaller I'm here trying to make the fuel tank smaller so let's try again Let, let's start and set the staging and launch will this work and it's working well that's that's pretty small change to make the part is separated well and the solar panel is working the ion engine is working all the part is working well but maybe the center of mass will be nightmare because the solar panel is deployed but when it's retracted it's working well and you can precisely place it on specific orbit or altitude all right now we're trying to but maybe we can make the part slightly bigger and trying to stack them as in the real life one maybe it is enough activate the symmetry and place them like this and now I'm making the second stage to simulate the separation and setting the staging and launch will it work and it's working well but the top satellite will have a maximum force because the separator on the bottom of it because it knows Starling had the white holder like this so I'm making it from fairing and decrease the X value and add strut to make sure the top satellite not separated to 4 now let's test it engine and fairing deploy and it's working well maybe I will upgrade the holder to make it not separated from the craft so it's not identified as debris and that's it for today's video and thank you for watching this video if you like hit that like button and comment what you thought in the comment section below and you can download this blueprint from the link in the description below and make sure to share this video to your friend and of course subscribe to skyrate space and please consider to support my work in patreon you can find the link in the description below and thanks for watching i'm already of skyrate space peace out <laughs>